As any real leftist knows, the only true praxis lies in revolution, and the battlefield for that revolution is Twitter. Many people who claim to be on the left advocate for an inclusive community bringing people together and creating a safe place for discussion. However, if a new person comes to the left, that means that person wasn't always a leftist. They could have been a fascist, or worse, a lib. In order to create a society that empowers everyone, we need strong gatekeeping to keep everyone out. Big Ten parties are for fucking Democrats. Socialism often promotes social warfare over charity, so it's important to be as uncharitable as possible when interpreting any message. Or was that social welfare? Anyway, as a simple rule, if it can be construed as problematic, it's problematic. This goes double for jokes and criticism of harassment or gatekeeping. Public figures are inherently disingenuous for some reason, so any attempt they make to clarify or correct something should be considered bad faith. This also means that any effort to apologize must be a cheap attempt to garner sympathy. If you see a bad tweet, it's time to launch the attack. Scold them in a reply, quote tweet about their terrible take, or just vaguely refer to how they are canceled. Make sure to virtual signal hard. If criticizing a marginalized person, make sure to mention how they might be harmful to any group they belong to. This is especially important to do if you are not part of that group in order to demonstrate that you are a good ally. Anyone defending a public figure cannot be trusted. They are just a fan of their content and therefore part of the toxic culture we are trying to overthrow. If there is one lesson to take away from this video, it's that the publication date is April 1st, and this is very bad advice. I mean that very, very bad advice, don't do this. In all seriousness, Twitter is a terrible place for discourse and nuance and we could all stand to be a little more responsible online. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this special April Fool's Day edition of Praxis U. Remember to subscribe and click the bell for more content. Special thanks to Worker Guy, Ilkin Gamber, and our other patrons for funding this video. That was probably a little bit. Okay, you're good? Okay.